Hello students, let's study past perfect tenses. Past perfect tenses, as you already know, per the uses of the last videos of tenses, that it talks about the past work. The work which was there in the past and got completed over there. So it has a definite structure. Let's come to know about it and then we will know where do we use it and how can we use it. As you know, the structure of the past perfect tenses is subject plus had and then the third form of the verb. Remember, this third form of the verb is always called perfect form. Perfect form. So whenever we talk about the perfect tenses, we use the third form of the verb. Now, we have its positive, negative and interrogative sentences. You already know in positive, we use subject, then had and then vither. When we talk about the negative, negative sentence of it, we use subject plus had and then not. And remember, it's a perfect tense, so we will use the third form. In some of the sentences, you can also find object. Remember, using the object is the complementary part. We can use the object or we may not use the object. Here, you can see the example. I had not completed the task here had not completed indicates the negative form of present past perfect tenses now we can also make its question form and you know for making question form we take the helping verb in its beginning so its interrogative will be had I not completed. Remember when we use question sentence then question mark is added and in all the question sentences helping verb is written in its first or in the beginning of the sentence. You all already know that the best uses of past perfect tenses stands for two simultaneously work which i will be describing and discussing in the next slide although you should know the example i had stopped writing before he arrived here you can see there are two works one is being stopped another is his arriving so when two works are taking place at a time so one work which started and finished first will be written in past perfect and the second verb which is ending after the first will be written in simple past that's why it is i had stopped stopping of the work stopped in the beginning so had stopped and then his arriving is next to the work so he arrived so let's study the uses of past perfect tenses Guys, past perfect tenses, as you have already uh, studied the structure and its different form, you know, uh, it's subject plus, had plus, withered. Where we talk about the perfect tenses, then of course, withered is used. So here uh, we can say that uh, past perfect tense is used to express or indicate an action that was complete completed by a definite time or before another action was completed in the past remember it is definite time remember the work which was completed in the definite time before another action started that's why it is past perfect let's see the example they had finished the interview by 11 30 the interview had finished before the another work started Next example is, I had never read anything about the Bible until last year. So, until last year, there was no work of reading of Bible. 
So we use perfect tenses to indicate past action work that, that was done in definite time. Now next one use is, remember if two actions take place or took place in the past, two actions together took place in the past, the first work or the first action will be expressed in the past perfect and the second one will be written or expressed in simple past. Here's the example. The train had gone before we reached to the station. Remember guys, two actions taking place in the past will be expressed with past perfect and simple past both. The first action that will take place will be in past perfect and the next one will be expressed with simple past tenses. So keep studying, keep enjoying the tenses and past perfect tenses. There is a very famous example of it that tells the patient had died before the doctor arrived. So the patient had died before the patient, before the doctor arrived. Like this also we indicate such tenses, such works simultaneously happening at two different times. Thank you.